Should I stand over here? Yeah. <laughs> Two and a half years ago, I was down there as a photographer, taking pictures of the most famous man of our era. <laughs> Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon. Small step for man, big step for mankind. So what happened in between? Why am now standing here on the same spot where Neil Armstrong stood and not down there taking pictures of me. One thing Neil said made a deep impression on me. This is what he said. I've been out there in space and before we could land, we had to orbit the moon and when we came back from behind the moon, I thought, ah, that can't be, that can't be the sun over there. And then it occurred to me. That's the earth. I saw an earth rise. Not a moon rise, not a sunrise. I saw an earth rise. And then I realized, every cell in my body realized that that is home. That's the only place where we can live. That's the only place where our children can live. And if you've not been out there, you don't know how magnificent that globe, that tiny piece of dust in the universe, that pale blue dot, how unique it is. Yeah, that made a deep impression on me. Maybe it's because I have a vivid imagination. And maybe a piece of moon dust was still on his hands and it ended up in my brain because ever since, people say I act like a lunatic. That's me. Cycling through Amsterdam, picking up trash. Trash, other people tossed away. The earth, my home. I don't want to live in a garbage bin. The, my food, the food my children eat, I don't want them to eat out of a garbage bin. And while out there, picking up trash, I discovered there's a lot, I repeat, a lot of plastic out there. Plastic, a wonderful material, maybe too wonderful because it's indestructible. It's estimated that 10% of our production will end up in our oceans. Last year alone, we produced 280 billion kilos of plastic. <laughs> From all the plastic I gathered, as you can see here, I made a huge globe. My home. To show what we humans are doing on a large scale. We're slowly plasticizing our world. We're living in a throwaway society. Throw away, disposable. But do you know where away is? Let me show you where away is. It's an isle in the middle of the Great Pacific, 3,000 kilometers away from near civilization. And it's called Midway. Do you know what worries me the most is? What you see here, albatrosses feeding their chicks plastic, is exactly the same we are doing. We are doing with our children. Every time we throw plastic away, every time we step over it without picking it up, it might end up in our food chain. But maybe picking up trash is a little bit too much to ask. So what can you do? 
In the United States, every five minutes, two million plastic beverage bottles are used and then discarded. One time use only. Do you know how much two million is? Of course you do, you're a scientist. It's a two with six zeros behind it. But do you comprehend how much two million is? This is two million. Used only once and then thrown away. Every five minutes in the United States, figures from 2007, it might be doubled by now. So what can you do? Please, don't buy bottled water. In most Western countries, the quality of tap water is even better. It's a thousand times cheaper. And we don't have to drive water around in, water, in fuel, uh, fossil fuel-driven trucks. And we don't spoil our oil reserve. But most of all, we don't use our home as a garbage bin. So that's why we from the dopper want to give you a dopper. You can refill it over and over again with fresh water. But most of all, every time you drink out of a, bar, or out of a dopper, you show the world that you care. Thank you. Thank you.